The G7 summit is in full swing in Charlevoix, Quebec. Protesters and all. The highlight, however, is President Trump showing up in what could be described as a hornet's nest of unfriendly allies. Before taking off from Washington for the summit, Trump made a number of statements that won't sit well with other G7 nations, including a request to readmit Russia to the group. Whether you like it or not, and it may not be politically correct, but we have a world to run. And in the G7, which used to be the G8, they threw Russia out. They should let Russia come back in because we should have Russia at the negotiating table. And Italy's new prime minister, Giuseppe Conti, is on board with President Trump's statement, saying bringing back Russia to the group is in the interest of all. Meanwhile, the host prime minister, Justin Trudeau, is not as tight with Trump as the Italian newcomer. There has been some back and forth between the Canadian PM and the president, with Trudeau mentioning the strong historical bonds between the U.S. and Canada, and in the same breath, threatening $12.8 billion in retaliatory tariffs. President Trump tweeted, Prime Minister Trudeau is being so indignant, bringing up the relationship that the U.S. and Canada had over the many years and all sorts of other things, but he doesn't bring up the fact that they charge us up to 300% on dairy, hurting our farmers, killing our agriculture. Even with President Trump continuing his tough guy stance, there's no doubt that the other world leaders will want some one-on-one -on -one face time with him. We've heard a lot of criticism coming from Canada and a number of EU nations when it comes to U.S. tariffs, but it will be interesting to see who confronts President Trump first to express their frustrations, if anyone at all. As for Japan, well, it's staying out of the argument. Prime Minister Abe is going to stay in President Trump's good books by focusing on the Korea summit, which will be taking place in Singapore. President Trump will be leaving for Singapore right after the Charlevoix summit. In Toronto, I'm Alex Mihailovic, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.